Hello everyone, um, this is Richard, and this is episode 20 of Richard Plays Minecraft. Um, I, this is the first episode on my new computer. I am running Optifine right now, and I set swamp colors to off, because I didn't like them too much. In fact, I'd eventually like to change the biome here to not be a swamp anymore. That's why everything's nice and bright green again. Um, so yeah, I want to talk over a few things, and, um... I'll probably be doing some work on camera while I talk over it. First of all, I did do some off-camera work. And, um, yeah, I did the off-camera work on this, as you can tell, it looks a little different. Like, I didn't think that all the glass look looked very well, so I changed that. And, um, so I changed it all to stone, and I left, I put a whole layer of glass here all the way up, so that when you're going down you can see. I thought that was a really cool effect. Also, if you guys remember, um, last episode I mentioned something about putting, um, cobblestone under here. Like, cobblestone supports to make it more realistic. But after trying it, I realized that doesn't make it look more realistic, it makes it look really dumb. Basically, the whole thing looks unrealistic in that it's way too small of a bridge to be so high up. So no matter whether I put supports under it or not, it still doesn't look right. But, I was thinking there is a place I can put supports, and, um, so I'm thinking about maybe putting supports under here. I'll probably actually do that while I talk, because I always like to have something to work on while I talk. So we're still getting stuff done. Whoa, I took quite a fall there. Um, anyway, in the last episode, in episode 19 of this, I did say that I was going to be getting Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders. But unfortunately, they are not compatible with NVIDIA yet. And I have an NVIDIA graphics card. So I'm going to need to wait on that. But he said he is working on an update to get them compatible with NVIDIA. Oh, whoa. I just realized I'm on Peaceful. Let me switch that off. Normal. I have no clue how I got on Peaceful. Because I remember seeing monsters when I was playing before, and that was very recently. So yeah, we are using the Faithful Texture Pack right now. Um, I don't know whether to use the Faithful Texture Pack or the uh, John Smith Texture Pack or just the default. The Faithful does cause a little bit of lag on this computer because the graphics card I have, I actually went fairly cheap on my graphics card even though I went very high on my processor on the new computer. So I am probably going to save up eventually over the next couple months and get a better graphics card. That is one of my goals. And hopefully I'll be able to follow through with it. That looks kind of odd, placing them at such random areas. But I guess that'll actually give it some character. I don't know. That'll look pretty cool if they're all placed at kind of random intervals. Uh, move back. I'm sorry if you hear the keyboard clicking in the background. I still haven't figured out how to remove that. Oh, and, um, you guys may have noticed that I don't have an intro anymore. That is because I was reinstalling the operating system on one of my computers, and, um, I didn't realize the, um, intro file was still on there, and I had no other backup of it. So, unfortunately, I did lose it, but hopefully it'll give me an excuse to make a better one. I'm thinking I'll, um, use, like, Adobe, one of Adobe video editing softwares to do that. So, let's just take a quick step back and see what this looks like. It's kind of hard with all the trees, actually, I just realized. Ooh, coal. It's a really random spot for coal B, but I'll take it. Okay. We just fell into a cave. Let me grab the rest of this. No, it isn't a cave. It's just a random water thing underground. So that would be cool. Maybe I should mark the spot and we can build something here in a future episode. I still want to build a donator's place. Actually, I might build the donator's place here. That would be really cool. Like, expand it out and then build it here. So I'll mark it with a torch. There. And I'm going to get out of here now.
So I guess I gotta mark it with a torch on the surface too, or I'll just mark it with dirt. Okay, that should be good. Now it's marked. But my actual plan was to get up on this tree and see what it looked like. I'm sorry I got distracted there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So I think I'll continue this off camera and then I'll be back. Hello everyone, I am back and um, I'm not completely finished, but I made some progress. I'll probably actually stop this for now because it's been taking a long time, surprisingly, and I had to do a lot of a... I wanted to modify the train slightly because it looked odd in some spots, so that took forever to add all that grass there. Still doesn't look too good, so I'm probably going to work harder on improving it eventually, but um, I'm going to rush to get out this episode because I've started a new upload schedule recently, so um, we're going to have to kind of move on here. And I've got some other things planned. I'll go in real quick and show you what it looks like if I can succeed with this ender pearl. And I failed. Obviously, I'm not very good at ender pearls yet. I've never really gotten any to be able to get good at them. Oh, and pay no attention to that slime, if you can hear him. He's just right down there. But anyway, here's what it looks like inside. I thought it looked kind of cool with the kind of castle-like effect. And so I decided to actually aim for it here. Let me actually turn the volume down. I don't know how loud that is exactly. So I'll turn the sound down. 10% seems good. Um, so yeah, my plan is to actually eventually build, um, some villager houses here. I think it would be cool to have, like, a continued villager place here. And, um, what I really want to do, I'll show you actually in a second what I really want to do eventually. So we're going to cut, and I'll be back in a second to show you guys the other plans I have. So we are, um, just outside the village, as you can tell. Um... And so I'm going to go over a few things I want to do eventually here. I probably won't get to them in this episode, but just so you guys kind of know what I have planned ahead. Right here is kind of a water lake area. And what I think would be really cool is if we could actually make a way to connect to the major areas in um, my world by water. There's some annoying slimes here. They're kind of glitching out, actually, making all that noise. Let me just... Okay. I'm going to have to turn the sound off, because it's really obnoxious. The only other option would be switch to peaceful, and I don't want to do that. But basically, as you can tell, there's this area here, and my plan is to make it connect across into um, that area. I think it would be really cool, and then we could get back and forth by using a boat. In fact, then the two villages, if I ever put a small village in there, could be connected... Okay, I'm being attacked by a slime. The two villages could be connected by boat, and um, that would be kind of cool. Because I'm trying to make this as realistic as possible, and then if you imagine two villages connected by boat, you could have, like, opportunities for trade, etc., and I think it would be really cool. I think the more realistic you keep your ideas in Minecraft, the better they kind of seem. So, but my real plan is obviously the city has to have a wall. Or not the city, the village has to have a wall. And for a while I was working on a wall over here. It's hard to see through there, but it didn't really turn out too well. It didn't really look too good. And so I'm probably going to be starting a new one. But I want a wall in the water, too, so that it's blocked off from all directions. Except I want a little small gate. Not a little small gate, that makes no sense. A small gate that um, can connect the two together. In fact, I'm going to turn my sound back up now. Simply because I don't think the slimes are an issue anymore and it feels weird with no noise. Okay. So I'm going to use this cobblestone. I want to kind of get an idea of where it's going to be. Wow, it looks like the slimes have actually drowned in now, so that's kind of cool. Okay, now the slime noise is getting annoying again. So the idea is something like here, you could have, and then the wall could re-pick up around here, maybe. Yeah, because you want a nice big clearance for boats to get in and out of. 
and I'm pr this is just a temporary marker at the moment. I'm probably going to build it out of the um, stone brick, just like I built that wall. Except we're probably actually going to eventually get rid of that wall, because it doesn't look too good, as I earlier said. That was a fail. Let's just toss this. And... But I want to give the villagers a little bit of water, because they kind of have their own little lake here. That would be cool. And they have the docks there, so I think this um, village is actually starting to shape up and make a lot of sense with how it would be in real life if one was started in this region. But I was just thinking, so there is a few other things I want to do. No, really only one other thing I want to do. I mean, I have to keep this episode short because I'm kind of on a time limit. Very busy with school, generally. And so, um, yeah. I'm gonna keep this kind of short. So, I'll be back. Okay, so, um, the other thing I wanted to do was work on the, um, dungeon a bit. Not a whole lot, because we're kind of busy, but... Just a little. I'm pretty sure I had an entrance around here. Again, if you want a reference point, this is where it is. It's fairly close by. It's the zombie dungeon that I turned into an XP farm in a few episodes ago, I think it was. Maybe three or four. Though it was a long time ago, time-wise, but only a few episodes of the series. But if you haven't ever seen it before, this is what it currently looks like. I was working on an enchanting table here. And, um... Yeah, this is how I got the villager, the zombie villager, up into my um, village. So I actually left the minecart track simply for future use. I'm just going to cut this out real quick because we need to get eventually some enchantment books to make our enchantment table. Because I have the supplies. I have plenty of diamonds and I ha can get the obsidian easily. So I'm trying to think we need to clear this area out and we need to clear this spot out, I'm pretty sure. But I left the track for future use because I still need to bring one other, one more villager in so they can breed. You don't remember this spot. The zombies are loud basically because this is the zombie dungeon. And if I want to see if there's anyone there, it actually looks like there's quite a few. Let me turn my sound down again. And, um, I'm just curious how many, so we're going to click F3. I can't remember exactly where they log it. I think it's saying, is it under C? Is it saying there's 400? That can't be right. There must be only eight. Yeah. No, I don't know if that's it or not. But basically... If you idle here for about 15 minutes, you idle in the top so that up there, it provides some good spawns. Let me take F3 mode off again. And then to get out, you just use this. It is kind of a pain, though, at the moment, because you can't go back. There's no way to go directly back to the dungeon if you want to. That's why we're probably going to do some work on it. So I don't know exactly. I want to finish the enchantment table there. And I want to make it about three high instead of two high, so we'll meet. I'll meet you guys back when I'm finished. Okay, hello everyone. I am back, and um, so I haven't really finished what I was working on yet, but we're getting there. I decided to go with a very basic um, design, simply because. Let me turn the sound low again. But um, I simply decided to go with a basic design because um. It's like a dungeon. It's an area around it. It's not going to be something incredibly like elaborate or anything. But um, basically I'm working on getting the pillars right here. And um, it's actually a lot harder because with the new sideways logs thing, they don't work like they used to anymore. You put them sideways, so the only way is to vertically climb up. At least the only way that I'm aware of. So I have to place a block here. And, um, in fact, while I'm doing that, I'm going to put some stone in the furnace real quick. Because we need some stone to fill in these spots that I had to dig out to get back down. That one, too. 
I'm thinking about just going with cobblestone on the side here. And I like this a lot. I think that looks interesting. Yeah, I forgot to mention I finished putting the books. And I got the enchantment table off camera. Or maybe it should be cobblestone here too. Actually, you know, wood would be cool to go with the, um... Oh, but it still puts it sideways. Well, I think I can put it sideways facing the other direction. Let's see. Oh. Of course I would mess that up. Actually... Yes, it doesn't really matter how it goes in my view, because I just want a different texture, but as long as it goes the same way, which I can't even seem to do. This is really annoying, actually. It seems like something so simple, but they messed up the kind of mechanics. Okay, that actually looks really cool. Yeah, I felt I needed something besides stone there, but the um, wood goes well with the books. So I'll just real quickly, I'm sure there's a better way to do it than to scaffold up, but that's the only way I know of at the moment. And that kind of makes getting down here actually a little harder, but it doesn't really matter that much. And I need to eventually, like, do something to block off the light in here, because I think the light that's getting into here from the torches might be reducing the spawn somehow. Actually, I don't know. It might be, I'm not sure. I'd have to look up game mechanics on that. My torch probably goes there. So anyway, now that I've filled in all the columns, I wanted to do a little bit of this work on camera, basically, because... I wanted you guys to see what I was building, at least some of it. And I'm thinking about cobblestone again here around this way. Just give it a different texture than the regular stone. But I still want to leave stone involved in here somehow. So yeah, anyway, I wanted to do this on camera at least a little bit for you guys so you'd get an idea. But I want to keep it really simple. I want to keep it simple but nice, if you know what I mean. Okay, those just completely disappeared. Let's see. Oh, I got the torch back. That's kind of nice. Hopefully this pick will last. At least long enough to do this part. So yeah, I don't have much to talk about. Usually I can find something to talk about, for, but for some reason I can't really think of anything right now. I was kind of for a while I had an upload schedule, but unfortunately I just got too busy. Like, the upload schedule I kind of came up with was Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And I kind of started that last week. And, um... Um, it just didn't really work out this week. I got a little too busy. I'm sorry about that, but... It happens. But it's definitely either way better than my previous upload schedule, in which I guess I had none, so. I'm kind of happy to even have more consistency with my uploads. I hope you guys are too. And I'm not sure there's much else that remains for this project. I think it looks pretty nice, but at the same time I kept it very simple. I got rid of the cramped feeling with the too high. And then we finally finished our enchantment table over here. Gave it a cool look with the logs there. Um, there's other stuff that still needs to be worked on this dungeon for sure. Um, future ideas, I'd like to put a way to turn the dungeon on and off. That way when I don't want it running, it isn't annoying. And I'd like a better way up and down. Also, I'd like the down area to connect to the rest somehow without having to go all the way back up to the surface. Anyway, maybe we can take a real quick look at the monsters we got or how many zombies we got oh wow it looks like I have a fair amount I'm gonna turn the sound down because it's just a little too loud and um, let's try F3 again so I think it is E 
And I think that, I think C was entities, I'm not sure, I think, or maybe E is entities. But it's like, it looks like there's about 52 according to it. So I'll probably just speed through this real quick, and montage begin. Okay, so I am back, and, um, well, I never left, technically, since you were watching that as a montage. But, um, 21 levels, I think that's pretty good. So, I'm thinking we have to end the episode here, simply as, because I mentioned before, I'm kind of rushed for time with this. Because I want to try and get videos out more often and more frequently. But I think we're good, and, um, I'll probably end with, um, our usual tradition. We are at the chicken coop now. Again, just in case you're a newcomer to the series, I'll just show you where this is. Um, this is at my jungle base, which, if you know where the path ends, that kind of boardwalk, um, just keep on going straight from there and you get to the jungle base. Eventually, I'm going to provide a world download, so this information will actually be important. Anyway, if you're wondering about the levels... This is only about 10 minutes after I um, recorded the last segment there, and um, I fell, <laughs> which is another reason why I seriously need to fix that ladder. I got all the way to the top of it, and for some reason right at the top I fell down the side that doesn't have a ladder on it since there's only one, but it's two blocks wide, and for some reason I couldn't grab back onto it, because usually I'm pretty good at Minecraft and can do that, but for some reason I couldn't. So, also, I'll just go over the chickens real quick. There should be, I think, six chickens in there, two of which are baby chickens, and four of which should be grown adults, I think. Anyway, I only got four this episode, because I did it fairly fast, and I wasn't, like, collecting eggs off camera much or anything, so we'll see if I can get anything. And, no, we only got four, but I think it's pretty good that we already are up to six chickens and hopefully eventually they'll start laying eggs down here. The problem is I never AFK. I should just AFK here, but I've never done that. So, thanks for watching. This has been episode 20 of Richard Plays Minecraft, and I'll be back in episode 21.